You see all these new disasters on TV and all this stuff with FEMA and the help, and it's like, you know, good luck with all of that because, you know, here we are. You know, it's been almost two years, and you know, I, don't, I don't expect anything to happen at this point. My uh, name is Jody Johnson with Photo Rad Photography. About six or seven years ago, we purchased this building. Decided to convert it into my photography studio. It was, you know, just a, a neat place, and, and it was home. Enjoyed it here in town. It was a nice little town. All the businesses, you know, most of them had something going. You can see the water lines on the on the doors here. You know, we had this water here. It was it was in here like nine to eleven days is how how long the water was actually here, and um. The current was, it was just like the river current running through town for that, that amount of time. If you open two doors, you just have the, you know, it would just circle stuff and push it out the doors. There's not really, really too much left. Um, where it was considered a total loss after the hurricane, so in order to um, do any repairs and fix anything up and open business up, I would have to meet current building codes. And the building is 115 years old, so it pretty much have to, it probably cost more than building a new place. I don't want to spend money and start from scratch. If I could, if something passes, then I could come in here and fix this, and that's what I would prefer to do. But, you know, how long do you stand around and, you know, spin your wheels before you just close up shop and say, I'm, I'm done with this? All right, so here we are in our home. We bought the home probably about three years before the flood. We had about 27 to 28 inches of water inside of the house. The flood comes, an insurance guy comes out and pretty much says, you know, without a doubt, this is total loss. You'll get a check in the mail for, you know, this amount. And he's looking and then all of a sudden he says, no, wait, you know, you didn't have total loss on your policy. So the bank had us insured for less than what the mortgage was. Because we didn't have total policy, we had to, they basically had to go from the water line down and do an appraisal of everything below the water line. You know, we're still making a payment every month and um, you know we're still paying homeowners insurance because somebody might come up here and hurt themselves so, you know so it's kind of you know one of, one of those situations right now nothing's been released from the state as far as FEMA funds I, I don't really know what the purpose is or or why the money is on hold nobody can answer that question you know but it's just you know it seems like we're the last state holding on